Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with Oxygen Not Included, the oil upgrade. And I had a lot of issues as time went on with my base with regards to heat. As you can see in the base, it's about between 35 and 40 degrees. And the issue was that I used mostly insulated pipe but made out of granite. And you can see kind of all the piping in here. So as this geyser down here got warmer and warmer and warmer, now it's at like, well it was at 90 degrees. It's I use debug mode to go in and fix a few things. Uh, I'm not going to continue on with this base and that's why I went into debug mode, but I also destroyed all my materials to get the lag to go away, but this water in here was around 90 degrees. I mean it started out at around 50, but it kept w getting warmer and warmer. And that was going through granite pipe, which has like crappy insulation. So it was heating up the base, and the base was getting hotter and hotter. So a lesson learned. Um, I usually use abyssalite for my insulated pipes, but I got lazy, and it uh, it kind of ruined me. Now, as a quick fix, I went in here and made like a wolframite radiator, and that was working well. So the water was coming in at 90, and coming out at around 30, which was ideal. And I did replace all of the pipes with uh, abyssalite. As you can probably see like this one here. It's abyssalite now. But I didn't... I'm just kind of... I'm not happy with the layout of the base either. Uh, I kind of sectioned off a bunch of areas. Uh, if you can see it on the oxygen view. So a lot of areas are just sealed areas because I wanted oxygen to be really good. I'd also went up to 20 dupes, but I like deleted 10 of them because um, I didn't need them all. Someone asked me in a comment, why do you have so many dupes? And I, I did want to scale up, but the lag just got too crazy. This area here got really hot, so I put in some wheeze warts and it's kind of okay now. So oxygen is not an issue, but the heat was going to become an issue. And I saw someone's screenshot of, of their base and they had a little setup like this. They also had a temperature gauge or temperature thermoregulator just to make sure it didn't get too cold. Now I don't know if this is an exploit or not but uh, I started off with uh, some oil in here at 30 degrees and all, it's, all this is doing is sending oil into the thermo thermoregulator, sorry, thermal aqua tuner and dumping it back in, so it's just circulating in a loop. Now, you would think that this aqua tuner would give off enough heat to warm up the oil so it would be like, it would just go nowhere in terms of temperature. But what actually happens is it actually slowly gets cooler and cooler and cooler. So it's already down to 23. It's been about, I don't know, 10 or 15 cycles. And I read that this would just keep going down and down and down and some people have hit negative 200 degrees. And then the coolness of this is going to radiate out. So if you don't put it in like a uh, abyssalite insulated tile, then this, this coolness will just spread. Or you could pipe some of it around the base to cool or use it for anything you want to cool basically. Right now I'm powering it with coal, but so it's at, let's say, 22, 23 right now. I'll check back in a while just to see how much it cools down. So I'll probably start a new base and some of the things I'm going to try are to make a much more compact base, not have all these open voids. Uh, I do like building symmetrical floors like this, uh, four, high, four, four tiles high just so I can fit everything in, but it's not good in terms of oxygen use. The other thing I'm going to probably skip is using the oil well, oil reservoir. I'll probably just use the oil that I find on the map and also set up something like this where I got my slicksters taking our, all the CO2 in and generating oil and then I'll use that oil for whatever I, whatever I need. I don't think I'll use the uh, petroleum generator. It's just not worth all the hassle. But we'll see. I do have one running here, but there's no 
There's no petroleum going to it anymore because I kind of took apart my what I do over here. Actually, it's still there. The oil refinery is still there. I also removed all my exosuits because what was happening was they would take their exosuit in here and drop it on the floor. And once all the exosuits were dropped on the floor in here, they could never go and pick them up anymore. So they just weren't using them and they were they would never go in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a bug. For a while I could just send them in and they would grab the suits and put them back on the racks, but after a while they just wouldn't do that anymore. I find them kind of useless. I'd rather just let them go in there, hold their breath, and do the work. Now that's not ideal for going out and digging for long stretches, but I'm considering just putting in algae terrariums or pumping a bit of oxygen into any tunnels I need to get up to places. And then when they get to the very edges, they can just hold their breath. So next time I'll definitely uh, set up cooling for the water coming out of the geyser right from the right from the beginning, and I'll use abyssalite pipes to make sure that the base doesn't heat up. Now you can send hot water into like the lavatories or the showers because the polluted water that comes out is actually comes out at 40 degrees. So you can send in water at 90 and it'll come out at 40. Let's wait for someone to go to the washroom here and we can see. Oh, it's night time. So here they go, they're having a shower. Now the water going in <laughs> was actually 12 degrees, and you'll notice actually the water coming out is 45.9. Interesting. But if the water was going in at 90, you would you would see that it's it would it's coming out at a different temperature. So this is a way of destroying heat without using weaselworts, which is very good. And then any hot polluted water you send into the fertilizer makers, it's just going to destroy that heat. The same goes for hydroponic tiles. Uh, any polluted, hot polluted water that you send to a plant, it's going to get destroyed, so the heat will get removed. Uh, one thing that I kind of forgot is that if you, like I was playing for th three or four hours in a row without restarting, and the lag got really bad, and I noticed when I restarted just now, like reloaded the game, it's much snappier now, so it still has a memory leak if you look at the memory usage over time. So best to probably restart it every hour or two. Well, my dupes are idle. <laughs> so yeah, here we are, we're down to 19. All the oil that went in was uniform 30 degrees, so it's definitely working. And it's really cooling down the surrounding area quite nicely. I suspect if I insulated this, it would cool down even faster, but now, I don't know if that's a bug. They might fix it. Guess we'll find out. I also, next base, I also want to plan like having the food closer to the mess tables, minimizing travel time, like having them go. Originally, my oil refinery was here and they had to run all the way down here to, to work it, which is not good. So I did move it up here. So it's kind of right beside the base. And that was working way better. Also, having this chlorine storage area is too far away from the base, even though it was nice. Uh, lots of wasted time running, coming in here. So next time I'll probably put the food uh, much closer to their eating area. Like I have this priority nine fridge right here, and this is what they're eating out of most of the time. So any food they'll put in here first, and then any extra food they'll put down here. But I'll probably build a chlorine storage room closer to this area, closer to the grow room next time. Like ideally it would be maybe right here. So yeah, just trying to minimize running distance. I could keep going with the spacers. Well, now that I've used debug mode, I, I, it's tainted. I don't, I don't, I don't want to really continue on. But I'm not happy with the layout in general. So I want to try some new, some new layouts. 
Yeah, this is down to 18 now, just after one cycle. Here's a quick look at the map with uh, debug mode on, just to see what, what what there was behind the scenes. So giant lava area. Uh, we hadn't explored all this oil to the right or left. Some ice biomes. Our other steam geyser was over. Where was it over here? Never actually got to it. I feel like the maps are a bit smaller now since the since the update. Got a natural gas guys are way up top left here. Versus what we explored. Look at the CO2 room here. It's crazy. <laughs> There's actually a lot in there. Two thousand. <laughs> So yeah, it's going to be a very short episode this time. Just wanted to talk about heat and how to deal with it and kind of my plans for the next version of the base. And I may use this system here to help cool things. Oh, it's down to 16 now. 14. <laughs> so early on I'll get this set up and we'll use it for cooling. And any pipes I make will be made out of wolf, or not wolframite, um, abyssalite. Any insulated pipes will be made out of abyssalite so that we don't have the same heat issue that we had this time. And I'll try for a more compact base. Kind of plan for maybe 10 dupes and not build to this kind of scale. My plan for this base was going to be uh, 30 to 50 dupes and that's kind of why I went crazy with the size but it's not really playable with that many dupes, so I'll probably stick with 10 or 15. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick episode. Uh, next one will be longer. Uh, I'll, other, I'll probably film right from the beginning, but kind of cut out some of the boring parts. Just because it takes a while to build up a base from scratch. So as always, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.